knows me knows that motherhood has been a desire of my heart for my entire life. I had it all dreamed up for myself. I had such a vision of what that would be like because you assume it'll happen normally and like you picture it. And no one tells you ahead of time that it might not actually be easy. I saw a lot of doctors. I had a lot of tests, all of which came back normal. I had multiple misdiagnoses that re resulted in long stretches of treating all the wrong things. When something didn't work, I kept moving on, trying to find someone who had the answers I wanted. I researched the human body to an extensive length. I wanted to understand. I wanted a root cause to treat. I wanted to try anything that could potentially yield results, and I did. I switched up my diet so many times. I switched out products that were considered toxic. I tried several different prescription meds. I learned about all the ways I could support my body and support my hormones. And of course, nothing is inherently wrong with any of that. In fact, all of it was good. But I did it all in an effort to try just one more thing to make my body work properly. So much money was spent on things that insurance wouldn't cover, trying to find the one thing that might finally fix me. I would see pregnancy announcements on social media or hear about them from my close friends and family members, and I wanted to be genuinely happy for them, and I absolutely would be, but that would be followed by a strong sensation of envy and resentment, which I now realize was actually grief. I questioned my value. Eventually, I didn't just question it, I was sure I didn't have any. Meanwhile I, was, meanwhile, I was also sure that other women who were expecting children and who already had children were the valuable ones. I had developed and made an agreement with the narrative that maybe I just wasn't made to be a mom, that I wasn't equipped and I wouldn't be able to handle it, or maybe my life truly held so little value that a baby was being withheld from me. The more time went by, I really started feeling exhausted. I was running very low on hope and trust. I felt broken, defective, and less than as a woman. I felt like my body had betrayed me and a deep sense of guilt because I had let my family and my husband down. Like I had to apologize every time I wasn't pregnant again. I acted as though I had any control over what my body was doing or not doing, and that's what is so wrong. Because the fact is, no matter how much I wanted to control it, I couldn't. I was taking on ownership of something that was so far outside of my ability to change or alter. So, I choose hope. I choose it every day, sometimes multiple times a day. I have to. If I don't, despair takes over, and believe me, in despair is not a place you want to be. Is that easy? No. There's so much discouragement, bitterness, and heartbreak that still comes through. But hope is an active choice. My life is beautiful. There's so much joy, so much for which I have endless and immense gratitude. I have the greatest support system, some of whom are sitting on the stage behind me, backstage, and out here in the audience tonight. They are the best people in the world with whom I get to go through this journey that is this life. If there's one lesson I've learned from going through infertility, it's that two things can be true at the same time. I can fully enjoy my life and find purpose while also experiencing desperate longing. I can be thrilled for the people in my life who are expecting their babies while being sad that I can't have my own right now. I can keep moving forward in life with great expectation while also feeling anxious about going another month with no pregnancy. I can keep showing up for my life even while feeling such heaviness inside. Some days, all you can do is hold yourself together, and that alone is brave. I don't know how my story will end, but I do know that no one will ever be able to say I gave up. I choose to believe that my arms will hold a baby, even on the days when it looks impossible, I choose to believe my time will come. And when it does, my baby will be so very, very loved.